girl. Get ready for the tea. Have you ever had a friend break up? Um, what about a friend fight? I'm sure that we've all had a time or two where you or someone you know, um, them or their closest friends got into a fight or argument, maybe even a little scuffle. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all about a time where, um, I'm not saying any names, so all names have been redacted. I can't <laughs> put people on blast like that because never know who's watching. I don't really, whatever. Okay. So, I had this friend, right? Uh, we're not friends anymore. We haven't been friends in a long time. But anyway, when, the time that we were still friends, uh, we were hanging out a lot. We were going to the club very often, like almost every weekend, pretty much. And um, yeah, we, we used to work together. And um, we started off working together and then we started hanging out and we started a friendship. So I call it a friendship. In my eyes, it was a friendship. I don't know in her eyes if it was the same. I feel like it wasn't. I feel like, sometimes I feel like I was just convenient for her. Like she just needed somebody to go out with her and I was like that person. Anyways, back to the story. Um, so me and this friend, we, we went out one night and it was, you know, it was one of our usual nights. We we drinking, we turning up, we partying or whatever. And we got so drunk. I know I was. I was very, very lit, okay? So anyways, yeah, we got really lit. This guy that I had been texting was also at the club that we were at. And I don't know how it happened, but he ended up in the car with us. And listen, <laughs> honey, me and him, we got in the back seat, okay? And nothing happened. Like, y'all, stop, stop thinking it. Get your mind out the gutter. Nothing happened in that back seat, but we were definitely full blown making out, uh, full blown make out session. And I like I still remember that night to this day. It was funny as hell because so much happened. Like so much happened. But anyways, y'all. So we in the back seat, whatever. Um, we all go back to her house, and I kid you not. Like from the point that we got to her house, that's when everything like went black, and I. Like, I kind of still, like, it's very vague. I don't really remember much, but I didn't remember anything that happened, like, from that point. So, um, mind you, I said that the guy, he's still with us, so we're at her place now. And, like I said, everything went black. I don't remember. Like, I don't. Sorry. Anyways, um, obviously, me and the guy ended up hooking up. And we did hook up, you know, it was, <laughs> I'm not even going to say, <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Okay. It was a very memorable night. I'll put it like that. And it was, it, I say it in a good way. It was a memorable night with him, even though I don't remember much. I don't remember how we got to where we were. But I do remember like little bits and pieces and honey, like, wow. <laughs> Anywho, and mind you, this video is not for kids. So if any kids watch it, please turn it off. Um, yeah, so fast forward and the next morning, um, it probably was like six or seven o'clock in the morning and me and the guy were asleep in my friend's bed. <laughs> All I remember is her knocking on the door and she was like calling my name knocking on the door and I just woke up like so confused I'm like where am I how did I get here like what's going on yeah so we had definitely done the deed in her bed and she I mean she didn't say much about it after the fact I was and after the fact I was just like like it was kind of a like oops thing 
and it just was what it is it was what it was rather okay so yeah that happened fast forward i think this was maybe like the next weekend like we went out again it was it was the both of us and a few other friends we were drunk and i don't even remember how it started but me and her we got into like a full-blown argument <laughs> and she brought up the fact that um i hooked up with this guy in her bed and she was pissed about it like she was going off on me she was like you effed in my bed <laughs> and i'm just like okay i'm like i thought we were i thought we got past that but clearly not clearly like she was holding in a lot and she was holding in this thing that made her angry so i under i definitely understood and i understand now like why she was upset i was clearly in the wrong i was so wrong and i take i take responsibility like even though yes i did black out i was drunk but i still have to take accountability uh, accountability and responsibility for my actions so yeah it was just like we had a full-on argument about what happened the weekend before that night <laughs> and i was like okay it was good too because it's like now you saying how you really feel like you didn't really say nothing before so now you actually letting it out and saying how you really feel so yeah that happened and um like i said she caught us in her bed <laughs> and she was when we argued about it she was saying how like she had just got that bed set and how <laughs> she like I, I haven't even done it in that bed yet <laughs> i was like well sorry sis <laughs> But yeah, y'all, like, it was crazy. And, like, to this day, we're not friends. <clears throat> friend breakups are real. Let's talk about it. Like, friend breakups are real. And they hurt. Just like, um, just like a relationship. And a lot of things came to the light with that friendship. Because it was like, um... I don't know i just felt like i was more in the friendship than she was like like i said for her i don't think i was really her friend i think i was more like of a convenience in that situation like oh i need somebody to go out with let's go out i don't feel because because the way everything happened and the way like we didn't fall out that time like it was a petty argument but when we actually fell out it was like it was like super betrayal like how how everything went down um because it was just like wow like i thought you was my friend and like i said we worked together so it was actually a work situation that ended our friendship um like a lot of a lot of you may know like i owned my own business um i owned my own business for years i worked for myself as an entrepreneur for years so when we worked together it was like it was hard to separate like the business business from personal i guess you could say and i learned a very valuable lesson like never get those two mixed because once you get those two mixed up, like, it's kind of like, like, you know, it's hard. And it's, it's, it makes it even harder when you have to work with a friend or when you have to be in charge of a friend, especially. It's like, because they might think they can get over on you and that you will let certain things slide. Or you might think that certain things can slide on, on your end, too, on your part, too. So I felt like it was a lot of miscommunication and I don't know. I did I did feel like really betrayed and after after everything happened, um this was like 2019. So this was like right um before the new year, 2020, I think. I wrote her a message and I just told her like that was messed up what you did 
and I just told her how I felt basically and she did not like take accountability she told me that wasn't what happened but it's like okay sis then what happened you know what I'm saying so that whole thing I just felt like I had to do that like I had to message her just get it off my chest because we were going into a new year and I was like I need to release this and I need to start fresh so anyway after after that message was said she blocked me I'm still blocked which is cool you know because people are in our lives for a season sometimes you know and they're in our lives so that we can learn the lesson and that we can move past it you know learning learning the lesson was the biggest thing that I took from it I learned a lot about friendships and I learned about I learned a lot about being a businesswoman and being a friend so some things that I wouldn't do again some things I would never let slide again and yeah I mean that's basically it like I haven't talked to her to this day since she blocked me and I realized like I just it, you just have to release some things like you can't hold on to shit people did to you in the past like you can't keep that grudge inside of you because the longer you hold on to stuff the longer you hold yourself back from the things moving forward like especially if you're trying to get somewhere and you still hold on to a grudge from this person what they did to you years ago um not saying it's easy because I feel like you you can let go and you can forgive what somebody did to you while healing at the same time. So don't get it confused. Like, I can still be healing, but I forgave you like a long time ago. I've been forgave you, but I'm still just in my healing process. Like that wound could still be just a little bit open, but that's okay. Like what happened what is what happened i can't change the past and i can't control anything so yeah that's like that's the biggest thing that i think i took away from the situation but yeah you guys um i'm definitely i'm gonna have more story times soon my story times are gonna be like it's gonna be a story but it's also gonna be a message tied in there somewhere so i'm not a motivational speaker or preacher but i feel like stuff i've been through can probably help somebody if not one person you know what i'm saying so yeah that's just my take on friendships on friend breakups and just remember like communication is key when dealing with your friends relationships any kind of relationship any kind of situation like even your coworkers, people you work with, your children, your parents. Communication is vital. It's like so important, you guys. And um, yeah, just forgive people and move past dead situations. Like situations that serve you no purpose and that are not elevating you. You have to let them go. Like you can't be a bag lady. You can't be a bag lady. You got to let that stuff go, honey. Because the more you holding on to all that baggage, all that damn weight, you can barely move. You can't elevate because it's heavy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be so heavy. So, yeah, let that baggage go and move on from dead situations. But, yeah, y'all, I feel like I sound funny right now. <laughs> I think I need some water or something. But... That's all I have for y'all sure today. You follow me on Instagram at Tiana Deshay, um, Twitter, Tiana Not Taylor, and you can follow me on Clubhouse Tiana Deshay as well. Thank y'all for watching.